All right, so in this one, we know that my a is 5, b is negative 9, c is negative 2. Right? Find my discriminant first. b squared minus 4 times a times c. So therefore, oops, b squared minus. So therefore, that's going to be negative 9 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 2. And we got 121, right? Which we said was a square number. So since it's a square number, we know we're going to have two real rational solutions. To find the rest of the solutions, I do opposite of b, which is going to be 9 plus or minus the square root of my discriminant, divided by 2 times a. a in my case is 5, so 2 times 5 is 10. As I mentioned, I'm kind of doing this fast, but does everybody see where I at, or does anybody need me to re-explain anything? It's okay. I can slow down. I talked really quickly. Does everybody follow me? We already did this work. Yeah. Student already showed that. All I did was plug in b, opposite of b, and plug in 2 times a. Okay? So now, since we have a square number, can we take the square root of that number? Yeah, right? It's 11. We can't take the square root of 37. That's why we just had to leave it in our answer. But we can take the square root of 121. That's going to be 11. So x equals 9 plus or minus 11 divided by 10. So just like I did in the other problem, you guys can break that up. You could break that up into 9 plus 11 divided by 10 and 9 minus 11 divided by 10. So let's do this. 9 plus 11 is 20. 20 over 10 is? 2. 9, oh, 9 minus 11 is negative 2 over 10, which is negative 1 fifth. So your solution set, so you could say x equals 2, x equals negative 1 fifth, or you can write it as a solution set as negative 1 fifth comma 2. And that's all you guys are going to do in your homework. OK? Sound like fun?